your skin to exfoliating, moisturizing, even a little bit of hand and nail care.
creating a little bit of a foam and really getting deep into those pores. It's, very, it's pretty gentle, honestly. Um, it works fast enough that you're gonna get a good laugh, but it's certainly not gonna hurt your skin. Plus, we're using a lot of products, so there's gonna be lots of uh, moisture here, so it's not like a dry kind of brush. Okay, great. Let me just add the product a little bit and then we can start it again. Just adding a little bit of product on here. Okay. And we're just going to dab it a little bit. Some water as well to get a nice lather going. We just make sure we've got enough product here, and you can see that there are some bubbles forming, so we are good. Just stay still for me, my love. Bad, right? Just got a nice. That's a bit of a facial massage. This is a good amount of time to wash your face. Nice and gentle. Eyes close for a second because it's just a little bit sensitive. Okay. Grabbing Right. do 
and it includes uh, an ice roller and some oil. Okay, let's just bring moisture back. Ice roller just helps to keep everything nice and cool as we're rubbing it in. It gives a nice massage as well. So just to let you know, it's gonna be a little bit cool to touch. You can keep your eyes open or closed, doesn't matter. It's a very gentle procedure. around a little bit and we're just going to begin massaging into your skin Definitely want to get under your eyes a bit here. my other one, okay? And add a little bit more and we're gonna a little scrub of your nails, okay? And just adding a little bit of cleansing foam here.
realize how much dirt and product or just, yeah, whatever, cooking from cooking, being outside, just gets stuck under your nails. And it's a nice, it helps exfoliate too around your, your skin. We can be a little more vigorous with scrubbing our hands. Yeah. And tougher skin than our faces. See here you have a broken nail. Oh no, really? Car door. I'm sorry. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, actually with this nails I have on now. I had to buy a new one because <laughs> I slammed it. Yeah. It's never fun. Are you enjoying this? Oh, good. Good. at least. There might be another word for it, but you might have heard it as slugging. Okay. Basically, where you just take some sort of healing ointment or jelly, such as Vaseline. You can also use Aquaphor. There's a few other brands. But we just grab a nice generous chunk of the product and just pat it into your skin in any areas that might be prone or dry. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, but I'm not gonna use too, too much because when you go to sleep, I'm gonna give you this to bring home, so I want you to put much more when you go to sleep, right? Because that's when we get the wrinkles and when we're sleeping and our pillow creases on our face and we can get wrinkles, so I'm gonna have you use much more of it, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it, okay? And just do a little bit of moisture around your eyes and around your lips, okay? Because it looks like it's a little bit more dry there. Does that sound good? Okay, yeah, it's really, it's not hard at all. Um, it's just, it's definitely sticky. It's a thick gel, so just warning you. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing about this much here. I don't now, I would say when you are going to do your slugging later, you could probably do um, twice as much, okay? And just tapping the product in a little bit to warm it up. Okay. And just going to gently tap it around your eye to be very soft. Close to your eye, just around the edges, where you get like that crow's feet kind of wrinkles there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And a little bit on this side, actually. Just 
gently just patting it in and a little bit underneath mostly on the outside and underneath Sometimes I will do a little bit around the nose. You can do that later tonight if you like. I don't want to ruin. Um, I don't want to mess with the products that are currently on your face. So, ruin the effects of them. So, I'm just gonna um, save that. Okay. And a little bit down on your lips. it all the time if you don't have chapstick this is such a good alternative yeah there we go perfect okay, let me just wipe off the remaining product here okay one more step in today's spa yes. well it is important to use a lot of helpful products on your skin, but you don't want to overdo it at any one time. So I like to stick to about like five to six products per session. Yeah. So anyways, this product is um, commonly known as pimple patches and you can use it basically for any spots on your face that might be irritated, swollen, maybe there's a white head or a black head. Um, like a little red spot, possibly, um, yeah, pop possibly could be a pimple, could just be an irritated area that's a little bit puffy and red, but it's, you know, they're only so big, so you want to make sure that this covers the area, otherwise you'd have to get the bigger ones, which I usually reserve just for people that have, like, clear injuries or, you know, skin picking happening. this up and just apply a couple on some spots I'm seeing that might be a little bit red. Possibly going to turn into um, a pimple, but I don't think uh, I don't think it will if we use this. Okay, so. a little spot up by your eyebrow too so I'm just gonna grab another one and just put it right up there. perfect <laughs> now you can leave this on for the rest of the day until you go to shower tonight um, or if you need to go somewhere and you don't want it on your face still you're welcome to take it off but I would definitely leave it on for at least an hour Honestly, I love that they make them uh, nice and clear. It's sort of like that pale color, so it's not obvious that you have it on. Most of the time, people don't even notice I have one on, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do one final inspection, just looking really closely at your skin here. Just want to make sure that we've covered all of our bases. Yeah, there's no dry remaining. There's no irritated red areas that need treatment. No skin that looks like it needs exfoliation. Now, I do know that you come here pretty often, so it seems like your skin is in great shape, to be honest, but uh, it's always good to come every, you know, few months or, or whatever. Whatever works for 
uh, treatment and make sure you keep it up with your with your skin routine so you can look nice and flawless and beautiful and fresh and clean <laughs> exactly with spring coming it's important to switch up some of the products a little bit as it gets closer and the air starts to get a little warmer a little more moist I'm sure make at least you and I with our drier skin very happy, right? I do love the nice spring and summer air, yes. Very good. Yeah, you're looking really, really great. Keep up the great work. You've been taking such good care of your skin. Oh, I love when I can be proud of my clients. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my love. That is the end of our session today. I have had a lot of fun working with you. You have beautiful skin. I hope that you feel nice and relaxed and ready for the weekend. Go enjoy your skin. Let people compliment you. I'm sure they will. Maybe do some fun activities this weekend, yeah? Go out to dinner, get some good food, okay? Maybe if it's warm, a little hike. I love that too. Okay, yeah. In about three months, okay. Yeah, just give me a call. 